What is up you guys, this is Veffy, and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to strafe like some gods on Gears of War UE. We're going to cover a lot of things from my old Gears of War 3 strafe tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys the things that actively still work. And if this helps you at all, make sure to leave a like, check out my channel, I do tips and tricks for Gears of War. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the very first strafe is the transition strafe. It's where in mid-transition, you're going to stop, roll back, and have a shot on your person before they can even react to what you just did. It's a very, very effective way to mess people up that's been around since Gears 2 and Gears 3. The difference is on Gears UE, it's a lot harder to do, requires a lot more skill. In the middle of transitioning, you're going to have to hold A and then down, and then roll back. Whereas before, you didn't have to do that. So it's actually a two-step process. I'm making it look a lot more fluid, though. You're going to hold A and down, and it'll turn your character around like that. And if you practice that first before doing it, that's going to be the most important thing you can do. So now let's take a look at it in slow-mo. As we go in between, it's right here. This is the crucial moment in the middle, when your character's in the middle, that you want to hold A and then down. After you do that, it's going to cancel the mid-transition, and then you'll hit down, back, and A again to roll backwards. And I would rate this strafe probably one of the harder strafes, if not the hardest right now, because unlike GAU 2 and GAU 3, you have to actually cancel your animation. So don't be discouraged if this takes you a little while to actually get down. So let's take a look at an in-game clip. I see someone approaching, and I already know based on the cover I'm on, this is my chance to do that. So I hold A, down, then roll backwards, and this guy has no fucking clue where I'm at, and I get first shot. So now let's talk about the next strafe, wall bouncing. Now, unlike Gears 2 and Gears 3, where you could air bounce and essentially fly at light speed, Gears UE does not allow you to do that. You can still go pretty fast, but you have to touch the wall first. So you're going to hit the wall, and as soon as you do when strafing, you're going to tap A and down at the same time, immediately to pull off of the wall. This one doesn't require too much explaining because it's a lot easier to do in this one than any other Gears. You're literally just sliding to the wall and pressing up and A at the same time to pull off and you can pretty much strafe anybody depending on how good you've mastered it. So now let's take a look at a game clip. I find myself in a position where I'm not able to close the kill on a guy who's eating, so I just snap, wall bounce, and take this guy out. But we're gonna break it down in slow-mo. I am four-pointed as all gets out, and I want you guys to see how this is an art. I hit the first wall, pull off, body that guy. I'm already going to the second wall, and now I have a free fight in front of me, and even though I'm four-pointed, I have a chance. Whereas if I hadn't wall bounced, there would be no chance that I'd be alive. And just remember, practice makes perfect. I honestly don't even consider myself an amazing bouncer. But honestly, when you become insanely good at it, it becomes like an art. It's beautiful to watch, and it's almost like the equivalent of breaking someone's ankles on uh, basketball. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the no-no strafe, aka the drunken strafe, aka whatever the fuck you wanna call it. It's basically when you take your left and right analog stick, you move them both left or both right, and it makes your character do this thing that looks very awkward and is hard to hit. It's very hard to describe, so pay close attention on how to do it, and I'll show you how it works in your game clip. So what you're going to do is make sure that you are taking your left and right analog stick, leaning them both to the left, then both to the right, then both to the left, then both to the right. Mix it up! You know, you wanna- the idea is that you're shaking them. Literally, with just movement, you're shaking their shots. You're predicting where you think they're gonna be, and you're causing not only just your body to move, but your camera turns your body as well, making it harder for them to hit you. And when you mix that with wall bouncing, it's very hard to kill someone that's doing that. Now, in this game clip, I'm purposely baiting this guy so that I can show you guys what this strafe looks like, okay? I, I get him ready to go, he's like, oh man, I want this kill. I randy roll, and then I start doing it. As you'll notice, he hits me once, but that's it. He doesn't hit me again, and I'm able to get close enough to pop shot him and take him out. The reason this strafe is really strong is because it causes people to choke. Instead of just like faking left or faking right, your body looks like it's gonna go one way and then goes another, and it allows you to close the distance on people really easily. Alright, and so the last one is called the roadie strafe. It's literally just holding A like we talked about before, and going in different directions and using that to dodge people. It causes your body to cut in a very weird looking way, and if I was to explain it, I'd say personally to me, it's one of the easier strafes. You're just holding A, and then as soon as you're about to hit, like, hit your duck, 
using the left analog stick to point whatever direction you want to go in. It's an effective way to strafe people out, and I honestly like using it. But I wouldn't say that it's so complicated that you would need to practice it over and over and over to understand it. And now for the last thing, I'm going to show you guys mixing it up, using a little bit of everything at once to create a very nasty strafe. I asked my friend to shoot seriously at me like I have in all of the other things I've showed you. I start with the wall bounce, then I'm no-no strafing, he hasn't hit a shot yet. I hit another wall bounce, he misses the shot again. I do a wide gap closing wall bounce. He still hasn't hit me up until now. Now I'm four-pointed. I use a little bit of my cover, start to roadie run, and as I'm four-pointed, I need to close the gap on him. So I use a little bit of the no-no strafe, and then I start a roadie strafe, completely getting close enough to have killed him if I wanted. Alright, so you guys have the tools. All you need to do now is practice, practice, practice. That's all that it's going to take to get better and to become the Gears of War player that I know you guys can be. So if you enjoyed this and this helped you out, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys very soon for my boxes tutorial. You guys have a good day.